wanted to make a quick little video here of my learning experiences. Um, this is the computer PCM that I've been using. I bought this like two years ago, got it from the junkyard, and I've been using it in my red truck. And I did get the truck running, and like I've been having troubles tuning it because I'm learning how to use HP tuners. I am not a professional HP tuner, tuner by any means. I'm still learning the software. But I learned something very interesting just, you know, watching other people's YouTube videos. Um, when you buy these or, you know, I got the little bench harness that I made. You hook it up to a battery and, uh, you know, you can, you can just scan it right off the thing, right? Um, I followed somebody's advice. Bring all this with you, your laptop, that, and then I brought a tool battery. But uh, you can read the PCM while you're still at the junkyard. And what you want to do is uh, go into, you know, the uh, OS tab, and then you'll see, like, this is the one that I've been using. Let's see if I can focus on this here. Will it focus? Of course not. Well, none, none of them say real-time tuning. I'll read these for you. The top one says speed density enhanced, and the other one says speed density two bar. So um, this is where you can... Uh, save these and then upload the custom operating system to uh, your PCM. So what I did was I went to the junkyard. I just hooked this up to as many of I, as I could find. And uh, give me one second. I'll load up the, the one that I found and I'm now currently using. I want to show you what the difference is, but uh, what you should be looking for here. Give me one second. I'll load it up. All right, so here we go. This is the one that I found in the junkyard and I decided that I'm going to use for the red truck and I'll show you why here. This will actually see it. Okay, see it says RTT, that's the real time tuning. I went with the two bar speed density. This is the second one down. Now this was like a save that I did, you know, before um, I applied all this. Plus I also had to do a transmission segment swap too. But um, this real-time tuning, um, let me go out, I'll hook it up to the truck, and I'll show you what it does and uh, how, um, you know, it, it'll, it'll save you. You know, this is uh, some things, you know, it's a learning curve, you know. Uh, you, you have to, um, it, it's easier to follow someone else's instructions than trying to learn this stuff on your own, you know. Uh, there's a bunch of YouTube videos out there about this stuff, but when I bought this, I knew nothing about it. So that's why I wound up in the situation I was in. But uh, let me go out to the truck. I'll hook this up, make it live, and I'll show you why that's important. All right, so here we are. I got the key on. I've got the PCM I found in the salvage yard in here. Uh, I made some progress on this. I'll touch this later. But um, for right now, the purpose of this video is to, to instruct some, somebody on this real-time tuning. So you see up here, um, there's no, the, it's like a lightning bolt thing. If I connect to the car, it's going to read it. And this is the uh, VCM scanner here. All right, see now all of a sudden, this, this lightning bolt with the wrench showed up. That's the real-time tuning. So I'm going to go into... Uh, all right, that's recording. So this is the thing I've been looking for this whole time and didn't figure out what's going on. This is the uh, the volumetric efficiency table here versus RPM. You hit the play button, and this will read everything from the PCM that's currently there into here. So uh, you can physically um, edit these numbers while the engine's running. And mine doesn't work for whatever reason, but... Uh, I got the AFR here. You know what? I don't have it plugged in. That's another thing. Let me try to plug it in. I'm trying to figure out how to make this thing work also. Um, trying to bring it in ver with the serial bus. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Probably nothing. It'll probably just go away. And this is it. I brought it in right here to AEM wideband. I mean, this is something else, but... uh. <laughs> Anyway, th this is this is my table. Now, as the engine's running, I'll have a thing bouncing around, a little box showing me where it's at in real time, and um, you know, I I can uh, make adjustments here based off of the AFR, which is it's probably all dashes it is because it's not running, 
But uh, I'm trying to, that's my next step. I got to bring this wire in to the laptop and uh, get a, a live AFR reading and then I can make correct adjustments in here. That'll get me to where I'm at. That that was like one of the confusing steps that um, I've been fighting with for the past couple months and I just figured out how to do it. So I wanted to share with you guys what I was looking for in the salvage yard because that's kind of where it starts and uh, how to edit all this. Um, if you guys want to know how to upgrade the operating system and all that, there's a lot of good videos out there. Maybe I can make one on it. It's fairly simple to do. It's just a lot of saving, you know, beforehand. But um, that's it. That's my that's my little video for today. Um, maybe later on I'll show me doing this like in real time, like actually getting this running and, you know, um, I'll play with that so you can see what kind of effects it has on how it runs. All right, that's it for today.